To make change, we must meet violence with non-violence. Christ taught love, not hate for his enemies. My problem, Dick, is the governmental hijacking of MLK as a fig- as a what do you oh, call it? As a totem, as a as a propaganda tool to for peacefulness. Uh, for peacefulness. Now, famously. Uh, Martin Luther King preached the path of nonviolence. Mm-hmm. And what does the government love not more? Not against women, but. Not against, well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not going down that fucking route. But. We tried that. Famously <laughs> <didn't> preached. <work. laughs> nonviolent protest tactics. Yeah. And is it any surprise that the United States government goes, what a great guy that guy was. Yeah. We're going to give him a federal holiday. Let's kill him. We're going to make a bunch of, well, we're going to try to kill him. But then when that doesn't work, uh, let's give him a bunch of statues that are fucking weird looking. Let's give him a bunch of streets and teach about him in schools. That was always, to me, the weirdly insidious thing. Yeah. Because I remember, was your education the same where they go, you know, the great thing about this MLK guy was the nonviolent the, 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 resistance. Yeah, he just would sit around. He would just go into like a restaurant and sit down. Down. Think about that, kids. Isn't that a great way to uh, affect this is change the best thing in you've ever community? said, actually. Uh, I've always thought this. I always, thought, I always remember thinking about it and going, well, like, yeah, but like if shit had gone bad, shouldn't he have got some guns and killed all the people who were like holding him back? Yeah. Like, no, no, no. That's not as good mm-hmm. as, uh, look at this. Rosa Parks got on that bus and she sat down quietly. You yeah. could try it yourself in case you're ever mad at the government. If you're ever huh. mad at the government, just sit quietly and it'll solve itself. Yeah. It works sometimes. <laughs> okay. I It can work. For any guys. Look, I think there is a time and a place for nonviolent resistance. The problem is when you when take it, when the government takes it, and they go, that guy was so great. He oh, had yeah. all the answers. Hey, he's your best friend. Like, uh, Not to diminish his accomplishments, but once the government is teaching about it and being like, isn't that so inspirational the Schools way too. he got everybody to sit there quietly and, and they don't talk about like hoses. Malcolm X and yeah, like no. the Black Panthers. They don't talk about Malcolm X. Do, do, do. Not allowed to talk about it. I remember our school taught about Gandhi like a little bit. Again, more nonviolent. They're like, this Gandhi guy is great too. You guys should yeah. look into that. And the government tried to kill him. The FBI. The same uh, FBI we still have. Yeah, the same FBI. <laughs> that for some reason, and they tweet about him on MLK Day. They tweet about him on MLK Today's Day. Today's a great day. A great it's like day. you guys don't believe this at all. <laughs> well, today we remember that black guy we tried to convince to kill him. It was a bad plan, by the way. You ever look at the plan they had? They sent him a letter, and they're like, "Oh, listen, you know, you've been sleeping around a lot. I mean." Probably be better if you just kill yourself. I'm like, mean, is that all the FBI? The FBI, they they're retarded. <laughs> they're like cops, but they're the the ones who want to be in a cult. I just don't know why they were like, we could probably. I'm done <laughs> copping here. I'm gonna go cop for the entire country. If we okay, send this, that sounds great. If we send this guy a sternly worded letter, surely he will kill himself. It was one of the great At FBI plans plan. of all time. It was cheap. At least they saved us some money. <laughs> What's up with you? Nothing. 